And I'm Tammy Melchok. The former elementary school principal accused of killing her husband seven years ago was back on the witness stand this morning. The prosecution ended its cross-examination of Leslie Chance, and after brief testimony from two witnesses, the defense rested. 17's Vanessa Dillon joins us live from outside the courthouse in downtown Bakersfield with details. Vanessa? Well, after weeks of witness testimonies, including one from the defendant herself, this trial is quickly coming to a close. And today was Chance's last opportunity to convince the jury she had nothing to do with the shooting death of her husband, Todd Chance, back in 2013. Two days. That's how long jurors had to hear from Leslie Chance, the defendant in the murder trial of her husband, Todd, killed and dumped in an almond orchard on August 25th of 2013. The morning began with prosecutor Andrea Kohler's continued cross-examination, pointing out Chance didn't cry when she first got the news her husband had been killed. Crying was heard when an audio recording played inside the courtroom, but Kohler argued it was coming from Chance's two daughters. Chance repeatedly saying in her defense, we were all upset. Set. Chance said she was convinced they had the wrong person when detectives first told her Todd was dead. Kohler asked Chance about some of the financial problems her and Todd had run into early in their marriage. She admitted they had to file bankruptcy at one point, but the family became financially stable in 2013, the year Todd was killed. In finishing her cross-examination, Kohler asked Chance if she believed Todd's murder had been well-planned and executed, to which Chance said she wouldn't know. Now, the jury prepares for the end of Chance's murder trial, while the prosecution says it plans on presenting rebuttal evidence for tomorrow. If Chance is found guilty, she faces life in prison. Now, prosecutors say she allegedly killed Chance after finding out he had rekindled a romance with his ex fiance Carrie Williams. Now, Leslie Chance took the stand yesterday morning and reiterating that she completely denied she had anything to do with the shooting death of her husband, Todd Chance. Reporting live outside the courthouse, I'm Vanessa Dillon, 17 News. And once again, our news cameras are not allowed inside the courtroom for this trial, but our reporters are in the courtroom where they will be tweeting along with testimony as the case continues. You can follow along on our KGET Twitter page and to find all of our past coverage of the Leslie Chance murder case, just go to our website, KGET.com.